Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. In today's video, we will be doing a paid, brutally honest review video on Teddy Bear Squad NFT. I have no allocation there, means You have no, I don't, I don't get paid if they make better sales or no sales. I'm just here to review the project. If you've been enjoying the plethora of different content, the podcasts, the market updates, the Zuma episodes, the, the videos I do with Tom every week on, on Wednesday, smash a like in this video. It helps the channel so much and it's a free, easy way to support me. Subscribe to the Joyous Kingdom. Let's go to the moon together. This channel is brought to you guys by Weeble, the crypto and stock trading platform that I'll get you guys some more information later in the video as always the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day so if that sounds good to you let's get into the video So this is the Teddy Bear Squad's NFT page. They've got a floor price of 0 0.076 Ethereum, 121 Ethereum traded, 3.2 thousand owners, and 6.8 thousand items. Here's what some of their art looks like. Very cute, very cute. We head out to their activity page. Looks like they launched on the 23rd of, Dece of January, and they've held a pretty strong support around what, 0.1-ish, somewhere around there, 0.1, 0.12. It's a pretty strong support line right there. And then just recently they started to dip, but so has the entire NFT market, so I'm not really surprised about that. And my computer is being stupid. It won't load the activity, but it's been able to like load every now and then. And I'm seeing that they are making sales pretty consistently. Um, I don't know why my laptop's being dumb. Here we have the Teddy Bear Squad NFT's Twitter page. They've only got 90 tweets. I would like to see a lot more engagement and just a lot more effort on the Twitter page. I don't think people realize how important it is to personally brand yourself and also brand the collection because there's a lot of NFT collections that look a lot like this, right? What are you going to do to differentiate yourself? It's not going to be the utility more than likely because most NFT projects are just starting. They just can't make it happen usually in time. And so what's going to save your ass is the branding. It's going to be the thing that gets people to be like, I don't care what y'all are doing. I just want to be a holder. You guys are doing dope stuff. You guys are believing in a dope brand. You know, the stuff about their lore, the vision, the what they want to accomplish. That's the stuff I want to see more of on Twitter pages. Just share that. And I try and do as much of that on my Twitter as possible to show you guys that I don't just talk the talk. I try and walk the walk as well. So yeah, I, I see a lot of their stuff on Twitter, just um, just being like shilly stuff. But this is cool. I like this. This is like the first bit of personal branding I saw. You know, they're talking about doing some clothes. They don't have to sell you here. They're not saying, hey, join our Discord. They're just saying, hey, here's what we're doing. This is pretty cool. And uh, this is how you, this is how you, you know, more of this stuff, more of this stuff. I mean, look at this engagement, 246 likes compared to their other stuff where they're doing like an entire giveaway. And yeah, they're seeing twice as much engagement, but that's not the type of engagement you really want. You know, this is the kind of engagement you want. You get a little bit less uh, attention, but you get, you know, better people, more quality. So here's the Teddy Bear Squad's website. Very cute. I like it. We scroll down. They've got a little animation here for their roadmap. Um, they've got... Uh, they're going to be releasing, you know, the NFTs. You can be able to claim Toys Token every 24 hours. Toys Token is going to be their native currency uh, in their ecosystem. And that depends on the amount of teddy bears that you hold. Level 2, you'll be giving away $100,000 to a lucky holder of the God Teddy Bear. And there's a little bit of lore here we'll get into in a second about that. They're also going to donate an additional $10,000 to anyone holding a legendary teddy bear. That's a lot of money. And they're going to be donating $10,000 or $100,000 to a children's foundation that will be chosen by our Discord community. Big fan of that. I like projects that give back to the community. Hundred grand. That's not that's not a small number right there. That's a lot of money right there. Level three. They have breeding coming up, so they'll be starting uh, some kind of breeding mechanism. You'll be required to have two teddy bears and rent a hotel room, and you'll be able to rent those using toys. This is good. This incentivizes people to hold. You know, a lot of people just if they believe in the project, they like the brand, they like the art. A lot of people just hold just for the sake of being able to see what their baby would look like. And so I like that they're doing this. On level four, they're gonna have merch drop and events. So they'll be launching a line of Teddy Bear Squad merch, as well as allowing any Teddy Bear holder to order custom merch with their Teddy Bear print, um, like the, the one that they actually have on it. And I'm hoping a lot of projects do this because like, for example, if I have a Bungie NFT, I don't want to have a random Bungie NFT shirt. I want to have my Bungie on the shirt, right? So I'm glad that they kind of specified this because I haven't seen this specified in a lot of projects and I don't know what their plan is, but I'm glad that they're saying this. They're also going to have um, exclusive real world and online events where you can rock that merch only for squad members. Uh, more information will be revealed at a later date. Um, that's pretty common across most projects. Level five, they're gonna have a toy store. Uh, they'll be working on a toy store that automatically gives people holders a chance to obtain additional cosmetics for their bears. Uh, these cosmetics will be full-fledged standalone NFTs you can use to sell, or you can equip it to your teddy bear. Level six, oh no, oh no, oh no. Something has happened to the teddy bears. Something's taking over them. 
run. What is it? Is it zombies? Is it mutants? What is this? What's going on? Are they getting killed? Is something happening? I don't know. Who knows? This is the kind of lore you like to see in a prize that gets people emotionally invested a little bit. They go, wait, what is that? What, what, what is that? You know? And so I like that they're doing that. Now, they also have the toys token. This is what it looks like. Very cool. Toys is going to be their main currency of the squad. As you expand, more usages will be allowed. Um, using their toys and they want to give back to the squad uh, who supports us and this is a way of doing so we're all kids at heart so toys will be the way our world operates because who can't live without them and this is a little bit of a i think i guess this would be a sneak peek or maybe they're just trying to get some kind of visual representation of the of the, of the toy store uh, this is where teddy bears get all the hottest clothes and accessories from um yeah you just buy it all here and then they have their squad here. They've got Arch Bear, Lou Bear, Honey Bear, Dylan Bear. We're going to get into all these people in a second here. Um, but as far as some frequently asked questions, will there be a pre-sale? Yes, there will be a 24-hour pre-sale one day before the public sale. They'll be launching the pre-sale on January 25th, and the public sale will be 24 hours after that. Exact time of day will be announced later, um, and they'll be taking 5% of the secondary sales to the team, and a large portion of that will be going toward marketing. So just reinvesting into the brand. This is what you have to do uh, that a lot of people don't understand. If you're if you're a project founder, uh, a, a, any kind of business founder, most of the money you make ends up going back into the brand, and that's just how it works. It's the only way to, to level up, you know? Now, if we go to their about page, we get to see some of their story here. Um, once upon a time, there were 12 legendary teddy bears created by the teddy bear god himself. They decided to sacrifice a part of their essence in order to create a new breed based on them. And so what happened was apparently one of them woke up, found another one that also woke up, decided to work together. I guess they breeded, had 10,000 babies, and that's where they're at now. And then, essentially, they got existential. They tried to figure out what's going on. Who are we? What are we doing here? And then a mad scientist bear had a crazy thought to become powerful, a god. So he crafted elixirs to help him do that. And so the 12 legendary bears from before saw all this stuff happening. He decided to take action in order to prevent the mad scientist from achieving his goal. What will happen? That's the lore side. This is what they need to have on their Twitter. This is something that they could push. They can make a video out of this. They could pay some guy on Fiverr. 500 bucks put together a cool video to go along with this and i think that would be a great idea this is the stuff that keeps people in the project this is the stuff that keeps people emotionally tethered into the project this is something that's looked over by almost every other project one of the only projects i see in this space doing enough content is subducts they're making a literal whole tv show animation thing um, and that that's why they're going to be probably one of the next blue chips here's some examples of their art very very cool i guess these are the legendary ones there's a charizard one in there there's a naruto one there's a genie there's a captain of America. Very cute. Now we have about the team. We have Nastya, who is one of the artists. 13 years of experience uh, in this space. Here's her Instagram page. I like that there's a bunch of different stuff. She has some of her art posted. She has some real life stuff. And I think this is good because when you're looking into a project, you want to see that the people are real people with personalities and lives. It makes people feel a little bit more just connect to the project a little bit safer. And honestly, it's not a flex if your team is docs. Like, I think a lot of projects are like, oh, we have docs founders. And I'm like, yeah, you fucking should have docs founders. I'm not ripping on this project in general, but I'm just saying, uh, I just like that they're doing this and more projects need to be following this lead. And, you know, having docs people, because like, if you're going to start a business and you're going to ask people to give you millions of dollars, you're at least going to have to put your name on the line. You're, you're taking people's money, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that they have some docs people on the team. Um, next up, we have Yaniv, CEO, founder, and developer, seven years of experience um, in the field. He also started a company and he owns it called YHB Technology Solutions LTD. This is his Instagram page here. Um, it's private, so you can't actually see him. Um, not not sure why it would be private here because you know he's like the CEO who's in charge of networking and talking and being the figurehead. But you know whatever, I guess he's private. This is the website for the company that he owns, the LTD one that I just talked about. Um, clean website. Uh, I have no idea how successful this is. Like it wasn't related to fill. I wasn't really able to find that much information related to it. And I even tried to do some recon and find him on LinkedIn, but I could not find anything for him. Next, I have Archbear Research and Discord Management. Five years of uh, experience developing. Um, he worked at FinTech, but he has no socials. So gonna t he's anonymous, so I'm just going to uh, take that with a grain of salt. doesn't matter if you're not going to have any links. Um, they have Tall, Marketing Manager. Five years experience in marketing, e-commerce experience. He's gained more than 10 million followers for his clients. I would love to see proof of that. Here's an Instagram page. 14.8 thousand followers. He's the marketing manager at the, at the company. This is what he looks like. I like that he has a little bit of his personal branding in here. Shows some personality and you know it's good you know if something goes wrong with the project then you can look and be like oh this is what he's like this is the kind of person he is and i like to see this on an instagram page and i like to see this from people on the team and finally we have genki nft chef developer professional web and software developer for nearly 15 years he has a youtube channel and two different twitter accounts 
Here's one of his Twitter accounts. I'm not sure why there's two separate ones. I guess it's maybe more of like a brand one. Uh, he also created the On10 and Division. This is like a NFT artist and project funding grants development education thing. And it's, uh, I guess they're trying to fund like other creators, maybe something like that. Um, and then here's his other, his other Twitter page. Um, this is Genki Hagata. Uh, he works at Pixar. He's part of the offline talks. He critiques your videos and we can go to his YouTube channel. He's got two of them. Here's one. Here's the other. I actually watched a few of them. Very, very cool. Very nice, like chill dude. Um, this is exactly what you want to see from anyone on the team. This is amazing. This is the kind of personal brain that can really, really help you out. If uh, if you're taking things are taking longer and people are getting antsy, you know, you can make content and content. People forget content entertainment is value. Like here's, a, here's just like a quick example of some of his clubs. He looks like to be some kind of video maker because it's high quality video. And yeah, I've done video production. I fucking do YouTube. So I can see like he does know what he's doing uh, on, the, on the standpoint and making cool videos that are fun to watch. And I like, I really, really like to see this from projects. I haven't really seen this much from NFT projects. So we go into their discord. Everything is pretty solid in here. Everything looks organized. You know, everything's good. They've got enough shit in here. I think it's good. I think it's good. And if we go over to their Instagram page, 43,000 followers. Um, again, with Instagram, you have no idea if people buy these followers, so you can't really just make sure you don't look just at numbers and say, oh, lots of numbers. That means it's going to be amazing. I say that's not really the case. It's, it's more important of what the project's doing, how, how engaged they are with the community, how much value they're bringing their holders. But it is cool. I like that they're doing this. They have an engaged Instagram page, so maybe they are all real. Um, but I like that they're posting, even though NFTs aren't huge on Instagram, I like that they're diversifying their, uh, their content and posting everywhere just to get as much exposure as possible. So here we have a page all about the toys currency. Um, they want to expand more and try and offer as much stuff as they can. You'll be earning 10 toys a day per bear and it takes 400 toys to rent a room in order to breed your teddy bear and to shop. You know, you use that to have accessories, hats, shirt, pants, shoes, glasses, masks for your NFT. And the toy store is coming soon. It's not ready yet. And they already have their breeding ready to go. All you have to do is go to this page, click connect, load your two NFTs, pay your 400 tokens and claim your bear pretty cool guys that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video i hope you learned something if you did smash like in this video it helps the channel out so much subscribe to the kingdom join the kingdom we're going to the moon if you haven't already make sure you follow me on twitter at caper i try and offer as much value there as possible make sure you claim your three free stocks down below in the description using my weeble link i really appreciate it. it's a direct way to contribute to the channel and to help me out if you want it's a great way to get started and in, in just investing in general i've been using it for over a year now love the platform if you want to see more of me right now click on one of these boxes on the other side of me and next time continue on your joyage continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video bye